It's a call being renewed after the brazen robberies. We need to get these guns out of these kids' hands, plain and simple. Out of the 100 guns taken, the latest update from ATF is that only 10 have been found. So it's time to get these guns off the street. These kids have too much easy access to them. They can find the gun when you can't find one. Nearly a dozen people, including teens, have been arrested in connection with this string of robberies. These aren't your 38s and stuff like that that people can easily handle. You're talking about assault weapons. Pastor Stephen A. Scott says those weapons too often fall into the wrong hands. You can kill a lot of innocent people, and that's what's going to be happening if these guns stay in the street. But we have to get them out of the hands of the kids without them thinking that somebody is trying to put them in jail. Local pastors are partnering with the nonprofit Street Rescue for a gun buyback this weekend. We know that they're distributed out through the community, and the pastors are telling us they're talking to family members who know of these guns being around. They need a way to get rid of them. It's happening Saturday at Progressive Baptist Church in Avondale. For each gun turned in, that person will get a gift card. We're trying to put this together to reach out and make it a no questions asked opportunity for people to come in, turn in these stolen guns, get them back, and get them out of the community. Over the last eight years, this group has held gun buybacks at churches like this across Cincinnati. They've collected up to 22 guns at just one event alone. We'll take the guns. There's no fingerprinting, nothing like that. Nobody, nobody even wants to know your name when you bring it in. Everyone is focusing their efforts on finding those 90 guns still out there. These ones specifically, we'll be looking to take them and do some research on them to make see if they're stolen guns, to make sure if they're part of the group that the ATF is looking for, to get them back to the rightful owners. In Avondale, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.